Hi everyone, Aiden here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Yakima Ridgeback on our 2022 Hyundai Palisade. The Ridgeback is a hanging style bike rack that holds the bike by the frame. It's up in these cradles with two straps over top of that frame and a third one around our seat post as our anti-sway cradle. That's going to limit our side to side movement, not fully eliminating it, but definitely helping reducing bike to bike contact or in some cases bike to vehicle contact. You can see our front wheel does like to move around a bit here, and if it were to move enough, it might make contact with the vehicle. Now, one way you can prevent that is running a cam buckle strap from the wheel to the frame of your bike just to bind it up and hold it in place. And that paired up with that anti-sway cradle, you're not going to have any concerns with that. You can hold up to 150 pounds total with this bike rack, or... If you have a single bike loaded up, you can hold up to a 40 pound bike on its own. Either way, you wanna make sure you're staying within those weight limits, but also keeping in mind with the hanging style rack, we wanna avoid carbon frame bikes, and with alternative frame bikes and kids bikes, we will probably need a bike adapter bar to ensure that the bike sits level and sturdy on the bike rack. With all that in mind though, let's get the bike unloaded. We've got these zip strips that hold it in place, and to remove those, you just pinch the two tabs on the side and remove it completely. That one on the seat post is typically a little harder to get to because you've got the wheel in the way, but otherwise they're really easy to attach and detach. One thing I will just advise you against is setting them off somewhere where you're gonna forget about them. Once you've got the bike unloaded here, put them back on or put them in the vehicle. That way you don't forget them. You can order replacements from us if you need to but better to keep track of the ones we have so we don't have to cross that bridge. I'll go ahead and add those back in before we continue. And we can check out the tilting feature once these are back in. That tilting will be used to get back to the hatch of our vehicle. If we need to get something out of there or change our shoes, we can pull this black lever in the front of the bike rack, lower the whole thing down, and open up the hatch with full clearance. We just need to make sure we unload the bikes first because you can see it tilts down very far and those bikes would be making contact with the ground. This gives us a place to change our shoes before or after our ride or get something out of the back if we need it. Then I'll lift this back into place once the hatch is closed. You'll hear it lock in. Make sure you keep your fingers clear of that lever because it will snap back in and we can check out some measurements. The first of which is gonna be our ground clearance, or actually our distance added to the back, excuse me. So overall, we're adding 39 inches to the back of our Palisade. That does stick out pretty far, but for four bikes, that's not too bad. We can fold these arms down when bikes are unloaded though, We're using that gray lever up top and folding the arms down. That way, if we want to leave this in the hitch between rides, we can, and it's going to be a lot less obtrusive that way. Only sticking out 12 inches in this state, so it's a lot easier to park with this, and maybe even pull in your garage, depending on the room you have. Just being cautious that it's still back here and adding length to your vehicle. Now for ground clearance. We can see at the back end here, we are working with about 11 inches of ground clearance to the bottom of that anti-rattle knob there, which should be pretty good. When you add bikes, you'll want to measure out the ground clearance for those and just be cautious around steep driveways and hills, depending on your tire size and the height of your bike. That included anti-rattle knob is tool-free and lockable, so that's going to make sure things are secure in the hitch and act as a security measure when we lock it up. The hitch, it's going to be working with a two inch by two inch receiver tube using the included adapter sleeve, or it'll work with an inch and a quarter if you have that too. And it's going to be held in really secure with that anti-rattle. I'd recommend adding a cable lock, but overall, it's going to be a good fit for your Palisade here. A hanging style rack is a great way to get four bikes on your vehicle in a cost-effective way. If you want something that's platform style, maybe going to work better with alternative frame and kids' bikes, I'd maybe look into the Hollywood Rack's destination four bike rack. Otherwise, either way you go, it's gonna be a good fit for your Palisade. Thanks for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole 
or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 